Good morning, everybody. Hello, it's me, it's Maddie. It is currently Sunday morning when I'm recording this voiceover and the sun is shining through my window right now. I'm sat on my bed with my tiny little love bug beside me, Miss Mango, so we are ready to jump into this. I am someone that really believes in paying attention to the small joys in life and taking time to turn daily mundane tasks into something special just because of the way that it boosts your mood and sort of just helps to set you up for a better day. So I'm calling this my body celebration morning routine. And I try to do most of this stuff on a daily basis because keeping my self-esteem in check is like a top, top priority for me. I'm usually up around like 7 a.m. every day and I spend the first 20 minutes of my day cuddling with Miss Mango. She's always so affectionate in the mornings. It's like me being asleep for eight hours is, it's like I've been on vacation for two weeks in Mango time. <laughs> um, so she's usually all over me. From there, I will get up and I will take a shower. I'm someone who always has to start my day with a shower or else I'll be in a bad mood all day. I don't know why, this is just how I've always been. I need to take a shower every morning. It's not like the worst habit to be in, so like I'll take it. <laughs> this morning I lit a candle before hopping in and then I got into the shower and I took my damn time. I really love using skin and body care as a form of self-love. So as I'm sure you guys have noticed in my other videos where I talk about skin and body care, I always have a pretty complicated routine. Use a lot of different products because it feels very self-celebratory to me. And this is where my sponsor for today's video comes in, Coco Kind. I am seriously so thrilled to be partnering with Coco Kind on a video like this. If you've watched literally any video where I've talked about skincare, you've heard me gush about how much I love Coco Kind. I think at this point I've literally tried almost every single one of their products and I have yet to find a product that I didn't love. I've been using their exfoliating scrub and clay and sake body lotion for a few months now. And these two products have become such a staple in my routine. I have tried so many body exfoliators and I haven't really found one that I loved until I use this one. I feel like most body exfoliators that I've used are a little too harsh for me and the scents are usually way too much. They're always like too fruity and just like intense. I have a headache after using them. <laughs> but this scrub uses upcycled coffee grounds as the primary physical exfoliant. So one, it smells like coffee, which is incredible. But also I love how this one feels kind of creamy while being applied. So it, it does the job of an exfoliator, but it's not as rough as like a typical sugar scrub. Um, and definitely feels like it's sort of hydrating and cleansing your skin in the process. The other main ingredients in this are prebiotic chicory to help feed your skin's good bacteria and red clay to cleanse the skin. So part of why I love skincare so much is for the ritual of it. Like I love the repetition of massaging and adding goodness into your body slash skin. It just sort of feels like a love language in and of itself. Like from me to my body, let's do a little skincare. So from there I hop out of the shower and I use the sake body lotion head to toe. And this might sound crazy, but the ritual of applying lotion to my body every morning has helped so much with my body image and I'll tell you why. So much of learning to love your body is simply acquainting yourself with it. And I really believe this, this has absolutely been my own experience and here, I'll give you a couple examples. So my whole life, I've struggled with my stomach. We know this, I've talked about this in many videos before. My stomach has always been the part of my body that I have been the most insecure about. And it was only last summer, like not even a full year ago that I started feeling comfortable showing it off and really started loving on being a curvy woman with a stomach. Like scroll back on my Instagram, the first time I posted a photo showing off my stomach was this past like August, I think. I spent the majority of my life hiding my stomach, avoiding clothes that forced me to acknowledge that it was there and overall just being really ashamed of that part of my body. So in order to start the process of accepting it, I needed to start paying attention to it in a minor way. I needed to literally introduce myself to my stomach because I had been working so hard for many years to not look at it, not notice it, um, just do anything and everything in my power to like n not remember that I have a stomach. <laughs> So this is where we introduce the ritual of using body lotion. So I started using body lotion on my whole entire body, head to toe, including my stomach, daily, and really focusing on my stomach, making sure that I feel my stretch marks, the curves of my stomach, the way it meets my hips, so on and so forth. 
this practice is something that, in my experience, has ended up feeling really celebratory since you're doing something kind for your skin. You're literally helping your body. And over time, you are subconsciously normalizing your own body and the way that it feels to yourself. It has helped immensely to just repair my own relationship with my stomach and with my body as a whole. If you've never tried this before, I really suggest trying to make a daily ritual out of applying lotion to a part of your body that you feel insecure about. And over time, I think you'll be really surprised how it impacts your self-esteem. Again, big shout out to Coca Kind. These two are literally my absolute favorite body products and it definitely helps that the packaging looks adorable on your shelf. I'm moving in like a month and I'm about to have this lotion in every single room, honestly. <laughs> So go ahead and treat yourself to some new skincare products using code MADDIEDRAWSPEC for 10% off your first purchase at Coco Kind. And all of the links are gonna be listed in the description below. Next up, I clean my room. I'm someone that if my room is messy, I can't concentrate and just feel like the day ends up going to waste. <laughs> I'm like a huge believer in the idea that your external space has like a profound impact on your internal space. So, you know, like I've, I've worked hard to decorate my room and make it a space that makes me feel happy and that just makes me feel at home. And so I want it to be clean so I can really enjoy that and enjoy the work that I have put into the space. And since I do this every single morning, my room never really gets that messy. So it only ever takes me like five minutes max to do this. and. Um, it's a super easy task once you're in the habit of it, you know? So next up, I make my coffee or whatever drink that I'm gonna be having that morning. I have a little breakfast, I take my vitamins, and I try to drink one big water bottle before I even start my day. I am someone who I eat breakfast every morning. I never skip breakfast. And I think it's so important to eat in the mornings and nourish your body instead of skipping breakfast because it would be easy to, or you're not that hungry. And as someone who used to really struggle with eating habits and eating disorder tendencies, being in the routine of eating in the mornings just sets me up for success and prevents me from adopting bad habits throughout the day. So I always eat something, always. Even if it's just something small, like a little cup of fruit, I always make sure that I'm putting something in my body because you need more than just coffee in the mornings. Stop telling yourself that you're good with just coffee. You're not. All right, so next up in typical Maddie fashion, I want to have a photo shoot. I know to some people that might sound so crazy, like how would taking close-ups of body parts that you're insecure about make you feel better about them, but let me explain. So I'm a really creative person and obviously that creativity usually manifests through photo and video. So using that creativity to focus on my body has actually been really helpful for me in my body image journey because then I get to turn my body into something that feels sort of artful and that feels almost disconnected from me. You know, like I, I am the subject that I am capturing the same way that maybe I would try to capture my friends or a moment or, you know, just regular B-roll shots for my video. Instead, I am the subject, um, but I get to sort of look at myself through a third party lens because I'm just trying to get a picture to be artful and it's not really about what my body looks like, if that makes sense. So it's a, it's a time where I get to just focus on loving the curves of my body as if it were a painting or a sculpture. And it just makes me feel good in myself and helps to, again, just view my body sort of detached from myself for a second. Like, this isn't me, this is art. And I think a lot of the time that is how other people see you. So I wanted to wrap up this video by doing a little bit of, I guess like a meditation almost. I wanted to focus on doing body affirmations in the morning because I think it's so important to get into a habit of complimenting yourself and speaking kindly to yourself and reminding yourself of all of the good that your body does for you and taking some time to appreciate that at the beginning of every day. Let's start by getting into a comfortable position. Make sure you're either sitting up straight with your hands on your knees or an armrest or something like that, or you're laying down flat with your hands by your side. Whatever feels comfortable for you is fine. Just make sure you're keeping your body open and in a neutral position. And inhale. And exhale. It can feel really 
difficult to have a body sometimes. I want you to know that in this moment, you are being heard. You are understood. I completely understand how you're feeling. It can feel so exhausting to work towards loving yourself on a daily basis, and that is okay. You are not alone here. I want to start off by encouraging you to offer yourself forgiveness for the times that you've fallen short and haven't been able to wrap your body up in the love that it deserves. Your body forgives you. It is okay to have a bad day. It is okay to have a day that feels harder than the one that came before it. And in these moments, what is most important is that you offer yourself softness and patience. You deserve space to be able to heal and to be able to hurt. Anything you feel is okay. Take this moment to check in with how you're feeling right now and validate those emotions. Whatever they are, it's okay to feel them. Inhale. And exhale. In moments where love seems like too difficult an emotion to pass off to our bodies, we have gratitude instead. So today, I am grateful that my body woke me up. I am grateful to feel the warmth of the sun on my skin, squinting out my window in the morning to look and listen to the cars passing by outside. I am grateful for my body because it allows me to care for and cuddle with my tiny cat mango. I'm grateful for being able to get up out of bed, the first feeling of warm water in the shower and the relief of taking an ice cold sip of water immediately after. I'm grateful for the way my body allows me to travel and connect with the people I love, entertain the things I'm passionate about and feel something, anything at all. I am grateful for the range of emotions my body allows me to take part in. Take a moment to take account for what you're grateful for. Make note of some things that don't revolve around your appearance, but that do involve your physical being. Inhale. And exhale. In my experience, one of the best ways to feel better about yourself and to set your day up for success is just to say some nice things about yourself. It doesn't necessarily have to be about your appearance. It can just be about you in general, who you are as a person. I think that it's important to compliment yourself frequently, often, daily, no matter what it is, and to sort of do an inventory check for positive thoughts. Additionally, I think it also helps to sort of speak positive thoughts that maybe you don't think yet into existence. Um, This part can feel sort of difficult on hard days. So if you are having trouble thinking of things to compliment yourself on, feel free to just steal some of my examples, twist them around to apply them to yourself or repeat exactly what I said. Um, Even if it doesn't feel like it fits, even if you feel like you're just pretending, even if it feels like it's silly, there's a lot of power in just saying these sort of things aloud. I love how passionate I am about the things that spark my creativity. I love the natural glow of my skin and the redness on my cheeks. I love the colors in my hair and the way I dress to complement them. I have very beautiful, bright blue eyes. The curves of my body stretch out and overflow with goodness. I am smart and full of brilliance that is yet to come to the surface yet. I am a great friend, sister, and confidant. 
I love people well. I am loving, I am loved, I am lovable. Let's take that one again. Repeat after me. I am loving. I am loved. I am lovable. Inhale. And exhale. Now go out and have a great day. Thank you again to Coco Hine for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out and treat yourself at the link below using code Maddie Drawsback for 10% off your first purchase. Please send your body some love for me. You deserve it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn my notifications on, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah! I love you. Goodbye.